Watch this video and learn how to stamp a tea towel. I love giving life to old things, creating and crafting. I'm Kathy with Goodson Vintage Treasures and welcome to my channel. I'm Kathy Goodson. I'm the owner of Goodson Vintage Treasures on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and GoodsonVintageTreasures.com where I sell uh, DIY paint and IOD. First you want to protect the other sides of your tea towel by placing it in cardboard or plastic. Here I'm using cardboard and I'm just folding my tea towel over it. I'm going to be stamping with the Fruitful Harvest stamp. I'm going to use several different colors of DIY paint. One is the layered chocolate and I'll use a brayer to roll that paint on. You can get these products and the others I use at GoodsomeVintageTreasures.com. first thing we're going to stamp is I'm going to stamp uh, for this one I want a row of uh, leaves across the bottom. This is aviary. It's real pretty green. Let's make one of my lights down here a little bit. And I already have aviary mixed up. I have some of these mixed up with textile medium and some of them mixed up with um, liquid pati patina. But you can mix up about half and half paint and liquid patina on my mat. And this mat is just a simple uh, pastry mat. And it works really well, it washes great. Okay, I'm going to use the brayer. Now you can stamp with paint, of course. You can stamp with ink. Ink is a little sharper, paint's a little softer looking, a little, a little more muted. I'm gonna go with the paint today. And I'm gonna stamp this green. Okay, and basically I wanna outline the paint is what I'm doing here. And then I like to take a baby wipe and wipe my mold off real quickly. Next, I'm going to mix some layered chocolate with some liquid patina. And I'm going to roll that onto my pumpkin. About half and half. You can also use textile medium. Then I'm going to roll it on my pumpkin. I have the pumpkin on a thin mount to make it easier to place onto the tea towel. I'm going to use a mask that comes in the Fruitful Harvest stamps to keep me from stamping over the leaves. You want to hold with one hand and press with the other. Always hold with one hand and press with the other. And I got a great impression. I'm going to continue stamping, adding some leaves with the layered chocolate. I mix the liquid patina in it to make the paint hold into the fabric, which it can be washed and it won't come out. So I stamp several leaves to make a pretty fall seam. Now that I have it stamped, I'm going to paint it like you would color a coloring book. I'm going to use Queen Bee, Liquid Sunshine, Aviary, white swan, and of course I'm adding liquid patina to all of those. I'm using a small angle art brush to paint with. First I'm going to use the yellow looking color which is liquid sunshine. And I'm just going to paint right over the lines that I've already created with the stamp. I'm adding some of the Queen Bee in also, and a little bit of 
Summer Crush, which is an orange color. Blend streaks of the three colors into the pumpkin to make it look blended. Next, it's time to paint some leaves. I'm going to use aviary for that. This aviary has been toned down just a little bit with some white swan. I'm going to use my mister to mist around the leaves so that I can make it look like watercolor as I paint them. I'm going to thin down my queen bee and put liquid patina mixture a little more with water because I want it to uh, flow across the bottom as I do the backgrounds. This will give the whole thing a more blended look. Almost like it's sitting on straw or on the ground. For my background, I'm going to use Farm Fresh, and I'm going to lighten it a bit with White Swan, and I'm going to thin it up, and I also put in the liquid patina, just like I did for the bottom. And I'm going to paint this around the leaves and the pumpkin, and have a, a pale background. And this is why I sprayed it with water, too. I want my leaves to show up better, so I'm going to restamp them with the layered chocolate. This will replace all the lines that I've painted over. You want to hold with one hand and press with the other. You might want to wait until it dries somewhat before you do this step. And that brings back the leaves. Now, once it's all dry, you want to heat set it with a very hot iron. You want to cover it with a towel or a soft cloth. You can also heat set it by running it in the dryer. But I like to use the hot iron first. You can create your own tea towels for other holidays using the same process. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that little bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.